Hi, dear students. Let me just give you a little piece of demonstration on how we will be conducting our vacation diploma to degree batches for Applied Mathematics 3. Now here on uh, board, I have just randomly taken a topic which we call it, call as Laplace Transforms 1. I'm taking this topic just because you are already aware of this terminology, Laplace Transform, you are already aware, you have done it in uh, uh, diploma. Laplace Transform basically is a transform technique which converts anything from time domain to S domain. Now in your academics you have already seen that engineering application each and everything is dependent on time. If you are traveling, if you are going somewhere, if you are doing something, if you are switching on AC, if you are uh, watching TV, everything is with respect to time. But with respect to time, equations become so difficult to solve. Like if you consider capacitor, the charging equation of a capacitor involves it's e raised to minus t by rc or something. It involves time with respect to time. In computers, there are 60,000 capacitors. So many time equations, it becomes obviously difficult for us to solve. Now see, if you have to design something, you need good mathematical modeling. If you are not able to model anything with, with the concept of basic mathematics, the knowledge of mathematics, then obviously the output will not be that good, which we have expected. So Laplace transform gives you that technique, T to S. If in T things are difficult, convert it to S. And as in when you want, you can convert it back from S to T. Now this is concept. Now you must be saying exam point of view, how how we will be getting questions, how to solve. So let's see that as well. There are few formulae I have listed over here and, in, and these are only few formulae. Laplace transform has many formulae. These are just few of them. One Laplace transform of one is one by S, e raised to minus a t this and so on. As I said, you have to convert from t to s. It is basically done with this concept. Laplace transform of f of t, any function of p is nothing but integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. Now integration has come. So obviously there is a tension. Integration we have to remember. And that too, integration is coming with exponential term and that too negative power. And limit is also 0 to infinity. Infinity, infinity we had left in uh, our third semester only. Now we don't want infinity anymore. So mathematics, first topic applied mathematics, we need all these concepts. Even if I consider first question, now when the batches will start, you will see that if the Laplace transform topic has been started, the very first question you will be getting will be this, find Laplace transform of cos square t. Now see, in the list of formulae I have cos a t. So if somebody says cos 2 t Laplace transform, then Laplace transform of cos 2 t is s upon s square plus, obviously if it is 2, 2 square that's 4. Here they are asking cos square t. Do I have any formula for cos square t? Obviously, there is no formula. So, how do I solve this? If I consider this as my function f of t, then to solve this, I need to convert this into something so that I can apply these formulae. And there comes trigonometry. The first question, integration is involved. Trigonometry is involved. So many things in one place. Cos square t is given by 1 plus cos 2t by 2. Now this is known as half angle formula. Basically I can say for this, in this particular scenario, double angle. So cos square t can also be written as 1 plus cos 2t by 2. Now you'll say there are many trigonometric formulae. So in each and every problem we are going to see that. No. When our batches will start, we will first give you all formulae, complete list of formulae, derivative integration and not just merely give you but we will explain you those in class. The basic concepts that uh, normal 11, 12 standard students have of derivative integration and trigonometry, I can assure you that that will be better than them with these basic concepts. So in each and every problem it is going to come. Trigonometry, derivative integration, they are not going to leave you throughout applied maths 3 and applied maths 4 as well. So if I convert this, then is there any gain that I'm getting? Yes. 
See, this 2 being a constant will always be kept outside. I can take Laplace now. I know Laplace of 1 as well as Laplace of cos 80. So cos 2t I don't have to worry about. So I'll simply take Laplace transform. Laplace of f of t will be half being a constant can be taken outside because Laplace is nothing but integration. And you know that in integration anything that you have as constant goes outside. So 1 by 2 goes outside and it becomes Laplace of 1 plus Laplace of cos 2t. That's it. Laplace of f of t will be half. Laplace of 1 is 1 by s. Laplace of cos 2t, if I apply this formula, is s upon s square plus. That's the answer. So this is what I wanted to tell you. All basics are going to be used. Now, in the list of formula, if I tell you this, then looking at this, you will feel that what is this? Is this square root or something? No. t raised to n Laplace is given by gamma n plus 1 upon s raised to n plus 1. Now that's formula for t raised to n, which involves gamma. Now only few branches from diploma are aware of this terminology gamma. Gamma of n plus n. n. See, it is not square root. It is gamma. Now if I tell you what is gamma n plus 1, it is actually n factorial if n is an integer value. So if it is gamma 5, 4 factorial. You have to reduce it by 1. If I ask you gamma 3, reduce it by 1, 2 factorial. Only if it is an integer and if it is a if it is fraction, then it becomes n gamma n. So gamma will not leave you. Picha nahi chodega. It is going to make problems for you. Now this gamma concept was there in applied mathematics too. So obviously, semester 3, again students have uh, uh, diploma to degree students have not done this. Otherwise, other students have already done this uh, gamma concept in applied mathematics too. There was a specific chapter for this. So let's let's not worry about this, all this. I just wanted to tell you that yes, applied mathematics, so many things are going to be used. Are we prepared for it? Yes, we are prepared for it. We will clear our concepts. We will clear our basics. And we will clear applied mathematics fee with 10 pointers. Let's prove to everybody who says, if you ask your uh, seniors or anybody, they will say, right, applied mathematics fee is so tough, is very tough. You have to be really like, well, one or two times you will get KT, obviously. They say like this. Let's break that convention that people, uh, what people think about diploma to degree students, that uh, they are not good in mathematics. Let's break that. Chalo. Diploma say degree done. See you all in our vacation matches. Thank you.